Here is meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday to you. Happy back to school week. We are celebrating all week long here on Good Morning Idaho. So today I am here in Caldwell. Behind me is Lincoln Elementary, which soon will be busy full of kids and teachers and drop offs and pickups later as Caldwell heads back to school today. If you are heading out the door this morning, be it to school or work or just for that morning walk or jog around the block, be ready for a very crisp start for the first time in a while. There is a chill in the air. I've been cold out here this morning. I've been hopping into my car and turning on the heat in between my weather hits. If you can believe it, we've got a cool wind in play, tumbling temperatures. It may feel a little bit like fall for some of us today. The good news is our air quality has improved since yesterday. Unfortunately, uh, the system that's bringing in the cooler air will also bring in some spotty showers and some thunderstorms at times for the next several days, especially in the mountains. But possibly even in the valleys, we could have a couple of scattered showers today and maybe again on Saturday on the air quality front, though, as we look at our uh, current air quality, we are in that yellow or moderate category in Boise. That's the good news. Orange off to the east, though, so still a little smoky towards Sun Valley and Twin Falls. We will stay hazy today. We will not kick the smoke completely, but this big, broad area of low pressure, this big dip in the jet stream, it's just kind of sagging to the south, triggering some storms across southeastern Idaho this morning dozens and dozens of lightning strikes across Pocatello and Idaho Falls here in southwest and western Idaho though not even a cloud in the sky so we will have plenty of sunshine over top of the smoke at the surface and the wind will remain brisk. That's the big headline for today. The wind and the dropping temperatures. Rain and storm chances again favoring the mountains. Most of these chances here Wednesday today and Saturday probably our best bet for seeing some of those hit or miss showers and storms. But Thursday and Friday each afternoon there as we look at McCall's extended forecast, for example, uh, there is a decent chance that we could have a little pop up shower, maybe a rumble of thunder, a quick lightning strike that fizzles out quickly. That's each and every afternoon through Saturday. Temperatures kind of all over the place in the mountains, right? mid 60s today into the 70s Thursday Friday back down into the 60s on Saturday and then Sunday I think we kick off a nice dry more settled weather pattern with comfortable temperatures coming our way especially into next week today if you've been too hot it's been too much heat for too long hey enjoy today mid to upper 70s in the Treasure Valley blustery winds at times that will keep a bit of a chill in the air today if you've been itching maybe to get out your favorite sweater or hoodie this morning I say go for it as it is perfect out here for it right now. Cooler and hazy with those spotty showers possible up in the mountains. More likely we won't get hit with those storms across the area, but it is possible, especially east central mountains today and again on Saturday. So just to plan your weekend, that's why I'm talking about Saturday so much. I wouldn't write off your outdoor plans for Saturday here in the valley, but my extended forecast does show a hit or miss shower or storm possible. Temperatures mid to upper 70s today, tomorrow, 80s on Friday, 70s on Saturday, and then Sunday we really start that beautiful trend with mid 80s and sunshine. Happy back to school day everyone. Drivers, please remember mind those flashing yellow lights in the school zones. Watch your speeds and be safe everyone. I'm live in Caldwell. I'll send it back to you guys.